Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in today's video I will show you how you can leverage contact groups feature in Gmail and save your time when you compose your emails. So in next few minutes we, you will learn what are contact groups in Gmail, how do they work, how I use them and probably you can also use the same way and then finally I will show you in action how to create and use the contact groups. So contact groups is a very less known feature and the way it works simply is that you create a group in your Google contacts then you add the required contacts into that group so when you compose an email instead of typing your recipient email addresses one by one you can simply type this contact group that you created and it will automatically expand all the recipients that you have in that contact group and and the way I personally use contact group is uh, you know let me tell you a bit about my use case so hopefully you would have the similar use case because we all you know interact with people all the time so I help businesses uh, switching to G Suite which means interacting with new clients after a period, period of time and each client would have an IT team with multiple people inside that IT team so when I need to send them email instead of typing email addresses of all those IT people one by one I usually simply you know create a group uh, with the client name and put all that specific clients people into that group and then whenever I need to send them email I just type the group uh, name and it automatically expands everybody which is in that contact group so with that let me now show you how you can actually create and use contact groups so for that you will simply log in to your uh, gmail box and then you will click on this uh, drop down icon and you will click on contacts that's one way to access contact you can also uh, go to contacts.google.com to reach the same screen and you might see the new uh, material design interface uh, and then you can create your contact group here so we'll cover both of them so if, if you're into old Google contacts you will see new group option here so you can create the new group and name it here if you are in the new Google contacts the name is changed from contact group to label so you will create a new label and let's call it for example uh, the client name and let's call it uh, ABC client so that's our client and, uh, and ABC client let's say uh, and then click OK and then you can add your contacts into that so you if you already have contacts you just need to select those contacts and uh, attach the label which you just created I don't have contacts maybe I can quickly add one so I will say simply uh, contact one and let's give it a test one at my domain ID and quickly create one more contact and let's call it uh, uh, contact 2 and the ID is let's say test2 at mydomain.com assuming these people work for that client and then we may also have our internal team whom we always want to uh, CC when we send emails to these clients so we may create one more label and let's call it uh, internal and then we can create a couple of contacts and let's call them internal one int at domain and then one more contact internal two internal to and let's save it so now we have enough contacts so what I'll do is click both of these contacts and now go to this manage labels and apply the label ABC client because I know these belong to this client and then I can select these two which are my internal ones and let's attach the label internal and to make sure that they are inside these labels I can just quickly go to these labels and see that they are there so now let's say in case if you want to send an email to this clients people and want to copy it to your internal team as well one option is that you will go to compose type an email saying test one test two 
and then you will click on CC and add your internal people. Another way is to leverage a contact group that we just created. When you're into it, just type the name of the group that you created. For example, in our case, it's ABC. So if I type ABC, it will give me auto population or the suggestion. When I click on this, it will expand and it will automatically put all the people who were in there so I don't need to type in manually similarly I'll type uh, in the CC I'll say internal and in internal this is the group that I created when I click both of these uh, recipients uh, came straight away so this is how you can leverage uh, contact groups which will help you uh, getting rid of typing email addresses manually, especially in case if you're communicating to a team uh, which would have multiple people. So hope it was helpful. If you have any questions as usual, feel free to put your comments below and I'll be happy to help. And in case if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.